What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch video and today we have a double whammy. It's a watch that you've never heard of plus an integrated bracelet, two of my favorite things. This is Demuro, uh, the DM01. I love integrated bracelet watches and I love new micro brands and this is a new micro brand uh, and they are starting their uh, new brand with a really cool watch actually assembled in California, the owner of the brand or the owners of the brand are actually in California um, and they really like integrated bracelet watches. They are inspired by Gerald Genta and the Gerald Genta Designs, uh, 1970s sports watches. So they decided to come up with their own um, and here it is. Now, uh, this is very nicely proportioned. This is a 38.6 millimeter watch. It has a lug to lug of 46.72 millimeters, a little bit bigger than that because of the male end links here. So I would say it's around 49 millimeters, or at least that's what I measured. Uh, 9.75 millimeters thick. That is because you get the Miyota 9039 in here. So that's the no date version of the Miyota 9015. You do get 100 meters of water resistance. That's because you get a screwed in case back and a screwed in crown. Uh, now they did say they're gonna make this crown a little bit bigger and it could do for that because it would be a little bit grippier, especially since you do have a screwed in crown here. This is the black dial version. Uh, there are a few other color dial versions that they're going to be doing. This is the black, as I mentioned. All of them have a textured dial. It's kind of like a hobnail dial, and I'll do close-ups of that so you can see, but you can see as I reflect it in the light, uh, it sort of radiates out from the center. It also has a little bit of a sunburst effect, I think, uh, at least that's what I'm catching from it as well. Applied indices, uh, those are loomed, and you have uh, hands, those are loomed as well. There's silver finish on them. Um, and then uh, you have some sort of like cutouts on the sides, on both sides of the watch. And that's another improvement that they said they're going to make. Uh, the cutouts currently are sort of a little bit higher on the watch than uh, towards the center. And I think they're just gonna have that centered rather than higher. I'm not sure if that was intentional or if that's just because this is a prototype, but they're going to actually do that. Um, so that's on both sides of the watch. So I mentioned the larger crown as well. They also mentioned that they're going to improve some of the finishing on the case and bracelet. And to be honest, I think the finishing is pretty good uh, for a micro brand especially, um, but it always could do a little bit better. And, and if they're gonna do better, that's definitely not a bad thing. Uh, the bracelet and the case are primarily brushed. So is that bezel. So basically all the tops are brushed and then the sides of the bracelet in case have a thin line of, of polishing on the edge, which looks really, really good. So that goes uh, around the case and uh, on the bracelet as well. Bracelet tapers very nicely. As you can see, it starts out like 22 millimeters, goes down to 16. I love that. Uh, the bezel itself, like I said, brushed as well, but the sides uh, of the uh, actual bezel itself are polished through a, a, like a, a mirror finish. Uh, looks really, really nice. Even the case back, same thing. They have like a circular brushing on the back and then they polish the edge on the, on the case back. So a lot of attention to detail here. It's a very interesting little watch. Um, and especially considering the price, the price on this is $395 assembled in California, which obviously adds a lot of money to that price. And then it gets a Miyota 9039, a textured dial, uh, integrated bracelet. Uh, they're going to upgrade a lot of the finishing. Uh, it's a hundred meters water resistance with the screwed and crown. So considering all of that, it's actually priced pretty well, I would say. Um, it's on the slightly more expensive side, but you're getting a lot of watch here and you're getting a watch that's actually assembled in California. It's really hard to put a number on that because the assembly in California definitely costs a lot more to assemble than if it were assembled in China. Um, but that's something to always consider. Uh, this gets BGW9, that's the uh, loom that's on the indices in hand, so we will do a loom shot at the end. Let me show you the watch I have on today and then we'll do a quick wrist shot. Today I am wearing the Mito Ocean Star Tribute in black. I am super excited about this. Um, I'm gonna be doing a video about it very soon. I'll do an unboxing, I'll do a full review. I am really enamored with this watch. I love it, it's just really cool. It looks great. Uh, it feels great, it's just a fun watch. 
Uh, so the uh, DM01 on my seven and a half interest, it is a 38 millimeter watch under 10 millimeters thick, as you could see, uh, wears like a dress watch, but it has 100 meters water resistance. It's very, very thin. Um, that I like that they went with the 38 slash 39 millimeter size because a lot of uh, integrated bracelet watches actually wear larger and usually a 38 millimeter integrated bracelet watch, I would say this actually wears like a 40 millimeter because of the way that integrated bracelet watches actually fit on the wrist because of the thick uh, bracelet that's on here. It looks bigger, uh, the lugs, the way that they're situated, all of that, it always just looks a little bit bigger and this wears like a 39 millimeter or 40 millimeter and it looks fantastic on my wrist. Um, it looks like a classic sort of Gerald Genta design from the 1970s. It's a mixture of the AP Royal Oak, you know, the Nautilus and a little bit of, of uh, the uh, overseas maybe, even though that's not a Genta design, but very, very cool. Uh, I really like it. $395, I don't think is a very bad price for this. I think the Kickstarter actually ends pretty soon. Today is March 6th, so uh, if, uh, March 5th, excuse me. So it should be ending in about three or four days. Definitely check out the Kickstarter if you are interested. I think they're almost to funding or they have funded. I don't know if they've funded yet, um, but I'll put that information in the description below. Check it out, uh, really cool watch, American, uh, you know, assembled, very, very cool. Uh, but quickly, let's do a loom shot and then we'll wrap up the video. Well, there you have it, not bad, uh, pretty pretty good. It's actually better than my Ocean Star, I'll tell you that. Uh, my Mito does not have very good loom on it. This has actually pretty good loom. Um, it's BGW9, so it's like a mint greenish bluish color. Um, and it's pretty bright uh, initially. I don't know if it's going to hang on all that long, but uh, again, this is a sports watch. It's sort of like a, this is actually I wears like a dress watch, uh, but it actually has 100 meters water resistance. I really think they did a really good job on this. Under 10 millimeters thick, that 9.75 really makes a difference in a watch, especially when it's an automatic uh, it seems like they really did it well. That's including the sapphire crystal. So this gets a flat sapphire crystal, very smart, um, and a screwed in case back. So really it achieves that with uh, a very, very good thinness on it. I'm very impressed by that. That's a very good stat for a watch of this uh, size and thickness. Um, but anyway, tell me what you think in the comments below. I'm impressed. Uh, I think it's pretty nice, but I really wanna hear from you guys. Tell me what you think of this watch. Um, it could be a contender, I think, um, but let me know. Uh, please also don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. It's super helpful for the channel, and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, um, and really, that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next video.